up everybody welcome back to another malt man episode it is what y'all been waiting for jared outlaw my special guest has arrived in texas uh, we just pulled up to the ranch we're gonna be doing a little deer hunting this week maybe a little calling bobcats coyotes pigs i don't know what's in store but uh i'm going after a big buck so y'all stay tuned um i don't know if we're going to be doing a lot of blind sitting because they are rutting so hard so we may be doing some rattling and uh, spot and stalk hunting but uh y'all stay tuned enjoy these next few videos and uh, hopefully get some bucks on the ground guys we like i said we we're going out after pigs and we might call we checked probably three or four spots no pigs and um this is a little spot that me and jug called up a cat uh last year and haven't been able to call him back up turned on the fox pro baby cottontail distress and three minutes and 52 seconds later jacob got it done and he's yeah. been telling me the whole time before they came to texas all I want is a bobcat, Mike. All I want is a bobcat. First night they're here. <laughs> we got a bobcat. Yeah. Dude, congrats. Thanks, man. Heck yeah. Thanks for the opportunity. Guys, look at this. It's amazing. That That ain't no baby right there. That's a that's a big one. So uh <laughs> now we're gonna go get try to get Jared on a coyote or bobcat as well. Um that's like a once in a lifetime call right there, three minutes, so might not call anything in but we might so we're gonna see if we can go get something else on the ground and uh if not i'll catch you guys tomorrow I just heard something run off. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well. Got your deer. Yeah, I feel better. Feel I'm better? Gonna... Yeah. There's nothing worse than shooting a deer and then just seeing it. I know. It's bow hunting. No way. It's bow hunting. Well, to make it an even lighter moment, I've got a surprise for you and Mike. Okay. And I hope you guys accept my offer because you pregnant. I worked really hard on it. Wait. Open these up for me. Whoa, what is this? I worked really hard. It took me. Uh, I don't even know about this. Took me about 20 these, seconds. These from in the in the house. Yep. 
Will you be my bridesmaid? bridesmaid. I Will you be your bridesmaid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know good. It, man. Good, good, good. You know it. Absolutely. Well, they said yes. Now it's just time to say yes to the dress. Yeah. <laughs> These this morning? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dang, I hope we find Justin's deer. I want to like oh, yeah. so, something. A little happen. lighter mood, yeah. All the Hallmark cards on your refrigerator <laughs> yeah. and stuff, so. I'm gonna put it right next to our uh, Cayman certificate. For yeah, there you go. Hunting. Yep. That's where that's going. Stick it right on there. All right, guys, we're headed out for the afternoon. We're gonna do the same thing we did this morning. It's literally blowing like 20 miles an hour. Jared's going to sit where he sat this morning, and me and Judd are going um, to do a little walking, spot and stalking. Hopefully, they might be bedded down in this wind, so we'll see. But. Well, it was definitely a fun day of hunting, but we couldn't make it happen. We are headed to pick up Jared and uh, Jacob right now, so hopefully they had a little more action than we did, or hopefully they got some because we had a lot of action today, but we'll see what they got and uh, try again tomorrow. Weather's not supposed to be great, but that's hunting. You gotta hunt with whatever you got, so we're gonna try it. for four days straight. Whew, I rattled him in three times. He's never given me a shot, he's never stopped, so I knew I had to take the shot. I felt comfortable. I think I drilled him. Dude. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I think, I mean, he was quartering away a little bit and I saw it, it definitely went in. So, calm down a little bit so what had happened was we me and Heath Heath's with me right now and uh, we we're driving back to the back of the ranch to to walk some food plots in the back to see if we could rattle one up and uh, we we're in the mule and we spotted him so we came around a big loop to try to cut him off which is exactly what we did 
and we ended up back right where we parked a mule. So I don't know if you could see it in the background, but literally I shot him right where we parked and he walked right past us, right past the mule into a thicket of woods and popped out right there and smoked him. So <sighs> we'll go look for him here in a minute. I felt like a good shot, but you never know. <sighs> All right guys, me and Heath been just sitting here replaying the footage and it looked like a great shot from what we can see. It kind of like it deflected off a rib almost and went in and quartered into his lungs, but it's been about 20, 20 minutes. So uh, we're gonna go start looking and pray that he is down. This is a, we looked a little bit right here for blood, but this is the line that he went and we haven't found a drop. So we're gonna stay on this line, see if we can find some blood. Dude, he went 20 yards. That's my arrow right there. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh my gosh, he is a stud. Oh my gosh. Look at that deer, dude. He's still got velvet. Dried up velvet. Guys, I'll, I'll show you all the uh, trail cam pics I have of this buck. You can see right here, this was a huge thing of antlers as well, and he broke it off fighting. Oh my gosh, that is a giant, dude. Holy cow. He didn't go 20 yards, 30 yards maybe. Thank you, big guy. Holy cow. Let's see, one, two, scoreable points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe 15, 16, I don't think so, but 14 and uh, Lost a few. I can't even fit my hand around his base. <laughs> what a stud. Cut like a double patch. Dude, that is awesome. Oh, Jared, as you all know, is out here deer hunting as well. And uh, they're on the other side of the ranch trying to uh, rattle up his buck. We just figured that Right now, the way these deer are rutting, they're so caught up in the rut that they don't, they aren't even coming to corn. We don't even have pigs coming to corn right now. Um, so it's pretty pointless to sit in a deer blind. So we're doing the uh, spot and stalk method. And uh, four days later, it worked on this guy. But uh, we're gonna load this guy up and see if we can't go help Jared get on his buck. Cause this is our last day to hunt uh, while Jared's here before he goes back home to Colorado. So. Heck yeah, dude. That was awesome. Oh, gosh, I'm blind. <laughs> oh, oh. be good. Why you have to keep the hand up and bring it around? She in, boys. All right, time to get old Jared's buck on the ground. We're gonna go help him out and uh, see if we can get it done this afternoon. We're going to take our heart slices, put them in a little bit of all-purpose flour, straight into the old greaser. And then, we're going to see what these boys think about old, some fried heart. Alright, came remains up first. We cut him a piece off. <clears throat> Get you some heart. He needs a heart. He ain't got nothing in there. Hot. 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 One out of ten. Huh. Oh. Oh, oh. One out of ten. A little tougher. Yeah. Seven? Eight? 
パクヤマロはいそれ。ジェリーあー、グラツィーうんあ、てぇ10 all the way, baby It's that season in, isn't it? That good A little bit of spice Perfect for that red heart New Mullet Man Red Available now at MulletMan.net Because we were too broke to get MulletMan.com <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Heath's turn Good piece uh, Just take Yeah, eat that Let's get back Notice how half of it's gone? It's cause, just point the camera at me, man. It's cause I ate it all. Pretty good, pretty good. One out of 10? Like yeah, it kinda does. Um, one out of 10, five. Five? All right, Judd. Why are you walking away? I need a beer. All right, well I need a one out of 10 rating. Um, six. What'd y'all rate it? Oh, it just tastes like a soggy chicken fried steak beer. <laughs> soggy chicken fried steak? Hey, that's like kind of true, but yeah, I is. like soggy chicken fried steak. <laughs> that's good. It's tasty. It's different than uh, backstraps. Got a, it's got a, got a different taste, but it's good. And the uh, Critter Glitter Red makes it happen. Got some fajitas going. And a uh, little tenderloin that we got off my dad's dough. But that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, he's just going to smack so he annoys me while I'm filming. But go check out Jared's channel if y'all want to see the videos that he did while he was down here in Texas. And uh, still got a half of another day to do. And we're about to go night calling. So stay tuned for that video as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.